All right, thanks everyone for joining today. We've got um, a little bit of a different uh, video for you today about FPV cars and just FPV and the hobby in general and uh, just some thoughts I had about what's going on in the industry and you know uh, my thoughts about cars and FPV and people getting into the hobby and enjoying themselves. Like I said, today is our main focus is about um, an FPV car that we, we made. Uh, it's on the budget side of things. This car is one of my favorite as we spoke about in my last video. Um, this is the MJX. This is the 14301, I believe. There's a 301, there's a 302, one's uh, more of like a street truck. This is my favorite one. Um, I like the truck as well. I mean, they both have pretty much the same things in them. Um, I just like the look of this, this car here. Um, as you can see, we've converted this. If you look in there, you can see a little, little camera uh, we've mounted in there. Um, this is inspired by Joshua Bardwell's last, uh, couple, he had a video a couple weeks ago about building an FPV car and he did his with a, uh, a Cadex Vista system, HD system. This one's a little bit cheaper. Um, this comes in um, actually a lot cheaper than that build. This car here is anywhere from a little over $100 to uh, up to I think I've seen $150 but you can find this on AliExpress um, from different vendors and um, there's a, a various range in uh, pricing I don't know if that pricing is based on shipping but this one here came in at about $120 all right let's get this one opened up you guys can take a look and see what I did All right, yeah, we've already ran this car already um, just to test drive it. Um, as you can see in here, we've added the aluminum shock, shock towers in the front here. Um, and we've also added them in the rear. Um, this this car is a little bit harder to work on um, with when, when adding these. There's a screw in the front here and there's a screw in the rear, um, right here. See that screw? They put a lot of Loctite on that screw. So it was a little bit difficult getting out. You can see I kind of messed up the, uh, the pattern here, the Phillips pattern. Had to use a flathead and actually grind that out with a uh, Dremel. But yeah. As you can see here, we've added an FPV camera. This is an all-in-one uh, for for people who may not be familiar with FPV cameras. That just means that there's a VTX and camera unit kind of built in one. If you look back here, this is what we call our VTX. This is a video transmitter. And this video transmitter sends a signal to our goggles here so we can see what's going on um, this is a fairly simple build this camera came out of a baby hawk the baby hawk was a drone produced by Emacs I believe a couple years back a few years back and this mount is a rack and heli mount uh, TPU mount, 3D printed TPU mount, and I believe it's it's fairly cheap. I think it's um, uh, the the camera is about sixteen dollars, and the TPU unit I believe is only a couple dollars, five six dollars. Now this unit is hooked up. What we did here, we took the power from here, and we went right into the receiver. And when this powers on, the camera powers on, and 
then we could just power on our goggles and, and, and it works. Now, this little car here is a little WL Toys that we got for about 50 bucks. Um, this is a fairly cheap car. This might be a really good option too to add a, you know, an FPV uh, camera to so you can drive it inside. But we drove this outside and it's really cool. Um, the image uh, quality is not as good as what you might see in Joshua Bardwell's video where he used the Cadex Vista, but it's fun. It gets you out there, and it doesn't break the bank. Um, in our hobby, uh, I, I, this is the second part of this video where I want to get into is in our hobby, sometimes we, we hear some some words that may not be um, inviting to the hobby, like China junk or, you know, don't use cheap RCs. Um, I, I'm, I'm a strong believer that if you're doing something that's fun and is getting you out there and doing something that you, you, you want to do, you should do it. And don't be discouraged by people's words. Um, we've got several RC cards here that were not the most expensive this one <laughs> it's been through the paces as you can see this one actually caught on fire uh, but this is a car this is an old WL toys buggy 18 scale buggy that I absolutely loved um, and I believe this was only about 50 bucks a little over 50 bucks but a great car comes with a transmitter um, and it doesn't break the bank. It gets it gets a you know a younger kid out there, a kid who may not have the means to get to a hobby shop, may not have a hobby shop around them. Um, yeah, spare parts it might be a little bit hard to get, but it gets them out there, gets them started, and um, you can get spare parts for a lot of these. You might have to wait a little bit because you're going to be ordering from China, but. It's um, it gets you out there, and it's a it's a great way to get the uh, get you into the hobby. As you know, this was uh, another from one of our previous videos where we added uh, uh, metal shock tower to the front of this MJX, which is another cheaper vehicle. But I love this vehicle; it's 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 awesome. Not to knock that these video these cars down here; these are great. But these are thousand dollar vehicles. And with these thousand dollar vehicles, they have even more upgrades in them. You know? This this truck here, um, this Traxxas XRT, probably is about fifteen hundred dollars. This this truck here, um, you know the full build with the motor the ESC the batteries this didn't come with a remote this additional remote although this is a budget remote this was an additional hundred dollars these are really really expensive what I'm saying is you don't need these you don't need these trucks here to have fun um, to tell you the truth some of the most fun I've been having in the last few months has been with this car here. I love this thing. Me and my son, we street bash our cars. Um, this Particularly this vehicle and his truck. He's got the uh, street truck version of this one um, that we uh, go outside and we bash and, and we absolutely love it. This was another truck that I bought from Hobby Wing back in the day. This is another cheaper vehicle. I believe this was the Nitro Circus Mini 16 scale. This was great too, great fun. Modified uh, uh, the top of it here um, to get it to fit on there. No parts are no longer available, but it got me in. This is another cheap drone. This is a, I believe, a $99 build that I um, was inspired from UAV Futures. 
Um, this is a great flying drone, super durable, six millimeter arms. Um, compared to some of the thousand dollar drones out there offered by other um, manufacturers, uh, sometimes it's just not worth it. Um, I'm not saying it's not worth it because those drones fly great and they offer some amazing features, but I've had great fun with this. And as you can see here in the front, I've crashed this from, I don't even know how high up. This thing is solid, doesn't flex, great budget motors, camera isn't that great, but you know what? Um, it got me out there and it got me started and I had a great time with it. Now, compared to this, yes, this is a um, semi-budget build. This is an Apex 4-inch clone with looks like uh, cloned motors from uh, the Diatone 3.5 inch. I can't remember the name of it, but this has also got a DJI 03 unit, the Diatone stack. Um, and building it myself and knowing the parts and knowing that there are some cheaper components out there that do work just as good as some of the more expensive components um, gets me out there to have fun. Now let's talk about some of the options you may have in the FPV realm for these builds that you do with your with your car. You've got analog. There's also uh, this Cadex VTX you can use here. This is one that's going to come out. We'll actually do a little series on these FPV builds. This is probably going to be the final um, component that we use in our FPV build, which is using this Cadex Vista and Nebula Pro camera. We're going to mount that in this eventually. Actually, our next build is going to be using... This is one of the small diatone builds that I did. This is a three inch build. Um, you can also find uh, the review of, I don't know if this is 939 or 959 on UAV Futures. They got this thing up to over 100 miles an hour. Um, super sweet um, quad back in the day. I don't really use it that much anymore. So I figure that we do an, an evolution in FPV cars using some of the old spare parts that I had laying around. This is, an uh, I be, believe, an old Isheen VTX. And we've got a Cadex Baby Rattel uh, camera in there, which should give us a little bit better Im uh, image than the camera that's used in that currently. Um, we've got some cheaper... FPV goggles that can be bought. I believe these are about 90 bucks. These are the Isheen EV D, I don't know, D300s, I believe. Um, these are a good option if you're just getting into to FPV. These goggles are no longer available. These are Aomways Commanders. These are the version one. There's a version two, but these still work and I still use them. Um, no need to get fat sharks or sky zone goggles to, um, you know, I don't see it as a waste of money, but um, you don't need them. You could have perfectly good fun with this. Now, stepping up, what we're gonna eventually use with these is these bad boys here, which is the DJI, um, V2 digital goggles. Um, we well, can use this with these immersion. Uh, this is a this is a goggle um, module that we can mount on here to get um, analog video into these goggles. Um, and then eventually, when we get go fully digital, we don't want to have to use these or these goggles. We'll just use these and we'll communicate with the uh, VTX system that we're taking out of here. 
So there's plenty of options. I think the best option for you is to get out there and have fun. Have fun with this, with the hobby. Um, don't worry about what people say. Just as long as you're doing what you want to do, it's positive. Um, you're learning. You're challenging yourself. And you're just making the best of life. That's what it's about. Making the best. Doing what you want to do. And enjoying. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Get out there. Drive. Fly. Build. Break. Fix. Repeat. Thanks, everyone.